It's Trees on. Welcome to the You Army. Because you Army. And this channel is for warriors of truth and self mastery. Today, I want to talk about the fact that self improvement is self destruction. It sounds mad, isn't it? But it's not. It's true. And I'm going to explain why. Self improvement is self destruction because to improve yourself, you have to destroy the old version of yourself. Like, you can't be that version and your new version simultaneously. You can't be both at the same time, innit? That's like, that's like getting water, putting cordial in it, and trying to claim that it's still pure water. And like, you have to choose like, what person do you want to be in it? Like what version are you trying to live out every single day? And you have to destroy the old habits, create new ones and stick to them to then overwrite the old version. This is simple when you say it, but it's not simple in day-to-day -day practice to most people. Day-to-day, we repeat a cycle. Do you know what I mean? We have a pattern that we go by like every week. We kind of, most of the time, do the same thing. We go to work, eat, sleep. Some of us work out. Do you know what I mean? So it gets repetitive. So it's like, it's very, very, very easy to get caught up in that comfort zone and never get out of that. But then when we're actually self-accountable and we're aware and conscious of what we're doing, then we can actually say, yo, this ain't working for me anymore. Like, you can feel it in your gut. See that gut feeling? See that gut, that first brain? When you start feeling that something ain't right and something needs to change, that's when you actually have to change it. Do you know what I mean? You, if you keep it going, if you keep the cycle repeating, everything, the whole outcome of what's going on in your life is going to stay the same. And it's as simple as that. And I think it goes for anything. Everything lives by that law. You have to change to make a change in it. So, and you have to remember that the only constant thing in life is change. So we have to adapt to our opportunities that are actually coming our way so that we can actually be ready for them. Okay, it's like, okay, I've attained that knowledge. I've attained that wisdom. What do I need to do now to get the next level of wisdom? So let me destroy my old self by overriding the previous habits I was repeating and put some new habits in place. Let me make a calendar. Let me make a, a schedule and stick to that so that I can now become my new version. Does that make sense? So self-improvement is self-destruction. And I know it sounds crazy, and it? Like it, it doesn't make sense when you say it on its own, but when we're unraveling it, I hope it's starting to make sense. In Hinduism, they have a God, or I shouldn't say God because God's a word that was invented in the 16th century, the Germanic Christian Codex. And Hinduism is way older than that. So they have a deity, yeah, and it's called Shiva. And Shiva is the destroyer God. A lot of the time when we think of destruction, we think of chaos, we think of badness, we think of oh, like, but destruction is actually a very beautiful thing because it's making space for what needs to now be birthed into existence. It's taken away what doesn't need to be there because it's now stale and it's now served its purpose. And it's now allowing life to be what it is, infinite. It's allowing life to keep flourishing. It's allowing life to keep on growing. It's allowing the new to come out with the old, in with the new. So when we detach here, yeah, our emotions from the ideas, not even the ideas, but the functionalities of life, which are destruction and creation. Well, technically destruction is just, technically destruction is just a perception, a perspective, because nothing can be destroyed. Energy can't be destroyed or created. It can only be transformed. It can only turn from one form to another form because infinity, infinity, yeah, infinite energy is the only thing that really exists and it's just taking different forms. That's why there is no real stop or end. Do you know what I mean? Things are just forever going. Like, if you have a box, yeah, and that box represents time, there's obviously going to be something outside of that box because something created it and that just keeps going on and on and on forever till it goes around and loops back into itself and that is infinity <laughs> you get me so that's what life is so what i'm saying is self-destruction is self-creation there is no such thing as lost there is no such thing as really even destroying yourself like because when we do destroy ourselves it's just making space for the new it's just making space for who we're meant to be going forward take that in and apply it. So when things are feeling bad, just know that that's that destruction, that beautiful destruction, that beautiful essence of recreation that we call destruction. That's that Shiva that, that I was talking about, that Hindu deity that represents, you know, the, the destruction. It's, it's that 
ever growing renewal you know what i mean so let's destroy ourselves every day nah that sounds mad <laughs> that sounds mad but seriously though nah seriously though let's let's tap in and let's just realize that nothing's going against us even though it might it might feel bad at times it might feel horrible at times like even me i've been feeling stressed recently but i had to you know i felt like i felt that destruction that we cool destruction but you know i had to just tap in and train do you know what i mean i had to tap into my body make sure i'm just keeping fit make sure i'm not letting myself get swept under the tidal wave and i just had to just combat that nothing can ever 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 beat you because you are infinity you are life do you know what i mean you are life and life and infinity are the same thing as i explained so yeah man getting a bit deep as we do self-improvement is self-destruction gotta destroy our old selves so we can become our new ones and that's it i've been crazy on this is the you army hope the message resonated blessings to you every single time respect <laughs>